How you doing, Gary? I'm doing great, man. How you guys doing? Alright. Your first training camp in Seattle, though. It's going great, man. Everyone's so welcoming. It feels like home. Uh, you know, a lot. You hear so many great things about Seattle. It's just really good to experience them. You've been part of this group for you know off season and a week of camp. How do you feel about the defensive line rotation? Man, real deep. You know, we uh we just working together and we just trying to, you know, learn each other. You know, and just grow as a unit. You know, um, I'm a big believer in like hitting them with waves, and we definitely got the personnel and the talent to do that. How familiar were you were with Seattle's defense before you got here? Um, you know that just what I kind of what I saw on TV, and you obviously know the big names on defense with Jamal and Bobby and Quandre and those guys. So uh, I knew they had a lot of great players on defense and. You know, that's pretty much all I knew, you know, just, you know, kind of being across the, across the way somewhere else. First day in pads, fun for a defensive player to get a little more physical? Oh, definitely. You know, um, it's a lot of sliding and sliding off jerseys and really nothing to grab, you know, before we put on pads. So, uh, you know, it feels good to just get into real football, you know, actually putting your hands on people and filling those blocks and, you know, and really feeling what type of leverage you need to work on and what you need to do, you know, it's a... Uh, Without pads, you tend to stand up a little bit, and so you now we can really see what we need to work on and where we need to grow. We know that room is deep with all the pass rushers, but how would you describe the competition level? Because somebody's probably going to get left out, right? Now we're just pushing each other. You know, we can't we can't really worry about the end result. You know, we just know that the more we compete, the better we'll be as a unit. So we're pushing each other. At the end of the day, we're brothers, especially through camp. So we're just going to push each other. We're going to keep getting better and. You know, we're going to let the chips fall where they may, you know, we make, make them make hard decisions. What's been your impression of Daryl Taylor? Oh, man, the kid's explosive. Man, he can make every play on the field. Man, I'm really excited to see him go, man. He's uh, like tons and tons of potential. And I just, you know, I see him making steps every day. And I know that he's going to make a real impact this season. Is your role real similar to what, what you did in San Francisco? Or are they asking you to do some different stuff here at all? Or more shape? Uh, you know, the D lineman is the DN. You, you set the edge and rush the passer. You know, that's and that's pretty much my job. You know, that's that's anywhere in the league. You play DN, you don't set the edge and rush the passer. And they're not asking me to do nothing that's, you know, that's out of my, you know, that's out of my zone or anything like that. Barry, what makes for a good interior pass rusher? It seems like they talk about you possibly sliding inside in, in, in passes. What's the challenge to be? Um, things happen a lot faster, and you gotta be ready to split. You know, more double teams and those kinds of things. But uh, it's not. It's all hands and feet. You know, on the outside, you got a little more chance. You know, to get yourself together. But you know, in the interior, everything happens right away. So I think that's the biggest change up for myself. Um, you know, sparingly a little bit here and there. You know, um, last year I got a chance to play mainly outside, but. Uh, you know, it's not a big change up for me. It's, it's all rushing the passers, all feeding hands. How much do you guys coach each other outside? You know, along the defensive line, even offensive line, too. The competition level. It's every play. You know, we, we see something, we're celebrating each other, and when we mess up, we're talking to each other. We're like, you know, how, we, how can we be better? How can we work on this pass rush? How can we work on this run set? You know, it's a, it's a team at the end of the day. We're competing to make each other better, but. You know, we try to help each other grow as players individually. How would you describe the difference, I guess, in the culture here with that, being honest with each other compared to what you've been on in the past? Um, it's just a constant competition. You know, we're not, we're not out here trying to one-up each other or anything like that. We're just out here trying to make each other better at the end of the day. So uh, I'm not going to withhold any knowledge, and I feel like the players around it feel the same way. Is this, uh, up here we thought all solo went to San Francisco, so the system was like Seattle's down there. Is this now feel familiar to what you did last year tonight? Um, like I said, like it's kind of it's similar in some instances, you know, but at the same time every every coach has their own patterns and their own their own like technique and how they want to play things. So uh, I wouldn't say it's too similar, but uh, Coach Norton definitely is putting us in places to make plays and and coach uh, and Coach Hurt is definitely uh, he has a different way of teaching than other guys. Have any of the undrafted guys talked to you? Talk to you about how you made it in your, in your past? Um, they definitely have. I, I try to make sure I give those give that wisdom. You know, uh, had kind of a unique you know career, so I'm able to tell those guys just to just keep stacking days and just keep working, and just when your opportunity comes, just be ready for it. You know, um, 
a lot of times in the NFL, you're only as good as your opportunity. So when the opportunity shows up, you got to be ready for it. Anything else, guys? Thanks, Gary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.